शुरू करें यस सर शुरू करें so i shared my presentation to all of you and hope it is visible yes sir yes sir so today we will start with understanding of all seven criteria of nac aggregation i hope almost everybody must have the understanding about these seven criteria what i am going to do in session 1 i will briefly discuss about all those seven criteria and their importance and in the latter part of today's webinar as well as tomorrow or day after tomorrow we will just in detail on one and all seven criteria so let's start with the understanding of these seven criteria and their importance the criteria number 1 the curriculum and syllabus is one of the basic principle of quality education if i am talking with someone from the university side those who are having their own university dr ajay sharma dr ajay sharma sir Hello, Dr. Nilesh. Uh, yes, sir. Hello, sir. I, yes, sir. I am from uh, Dipsaru, from the same university from where Dr. Ajay Sharma is there. I am also a team member. If right. There are some questions. I I can answer them. Sir, C R Patel, sir. Yeah, ma'am. You, you, you are having an university. You, right, you are sir. from the university, right? Right, sir. Right. So, so there are three <laughs> different type of institutions in the NAC. One is the university. another is autonomous organizations and another is okay. a college right sir right right sir so when i am talking about these three people in the mm -hmm. criteria number 1 that is curriculum aspect mm -hmm. everybody has got a different abilities to perform a university can decide their curriculum and syllabus right, right sir right right whereas an affiliated or constituent college has to follow the syllabus given the curriculum given by the university and the colleges right. which runs under regulator the regulator gives you a curriculum exactly right sir right so that is what uh, so, is true about pharmacy curriculum yeah so in any any regulator based college whether it is a medical college pharmacy mm -hmm. college teachers training college mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. engineering college you are having a syllabus defined by the regulators right right sir yeah right so so i am talking about the first criteria that is curriculum and syllabus that is the basic pillar and it has got yes, three different elements one how to create the syllabus one and second mm -hmm. how to implement the syllabus and third how you are going to get the targeted achievement after the completion of your syllabus Right. So, if it is an university, you are having a liberty to decide your syllabus, your curriculum, right, sir? 
right sir but uh, right, ours sir? is autonomous pharmacy university yeah right so similarly so it is it is being governed by mm. syllabus defined by the pharmacy council of india so you have very little say over that mm. but exactly you are in totality responsible for the implementation part right you got my point sir yes sir to correct sir yeah and the second criteria that is teaching learning and evaluation it is one and same hmm. for every type of college as well as the universities which is running their departments it is one and same for everybody okay. so this criteria mm -hmm. is the implementation of the curriculum designed by you or your university and how the implementation of teaching learning activities are going on and what is the result okay. the student progress and student outcomes are there we will discuss in detail all those things i am just trying to highlight that these are the seven criteria so that we can have a better understanding on thing okay sir the third criteria that is research innovation and extension this criteria suggest that the institution must focus on directing student towards research and innovation and addressing real life problems and the solutions sir when i am talking about the pharmacy college or pharmacy university hmm. it is the mandate that your student and the faculty should do research on pharmaceutical needs right sir so the inclination of research has to be there hmm hmm and innovation and the real life problems whatever the industry is facing problem has yes. to be addressed in this criteria so the entire ecosystem of higher education has to create and and make it a point that it is oriented towards research innovation and real life problem solutions right sir okay yeah right sir right yeah in the criteria number 4 the criteria number 4 says infrastructure and learning resources hmm. patel sir yes sir yes i am looking at first up, criteria yeah. you had planned yourself in the second criteria you tried to implement it up in the third criteria you do focus on research and innovation and the fourth yes. criteria the infrastructure and the support should be there so that mm -hmm. you can create first three criteria applicable in your institution right so in the criteria number 4 that is infrastructure and learning resources you need mm -hmm. to understand the availability of classroom laboratories mm -hmm. library okay. other educational tools mm -hmm. and other things needed to deliver the curriculum in your institution okay suppose you are having a sports university or mm -hmm. a teachers training college for physical education okay so now since it is a physical education college the outdoor activities are there you need to have a proper playgrounds for everybody right yes and and in contrary if it is a pharmaceutical university you need to have a very good lab a library true sir right yes accepted in in institution of physical education we expect hmm. there should be playground indoor outdoor and others available and usable hmm. 24 hours 
so even in the night exactly. the okay. playground or the various sports are alive but mm-hmm. in the pharmaceutical industry in which in suit we wish that your laboratory or library should open 24 hours mm-hmm. because if i am doing some mm-hmm. research in the laboratory i may need to read i may need to mm-hmm. do readings and other things in the late hours also right. so yeah. the infrastructure support has to be there based on your own in, in institution mm-hmm. the fifth criteria is focus towards student because the students are there mm-hmm. for whom we all are associated mm-hmm. and delivering our part syllabus curriculum was defined mm-hmm. for the student the infrastructure mm-hmm. is available focused on the student if i am having a physically challenged student i need to have a physically challenged mm-hmm. washrooms i need to have exactly. ramps in place of stairs or the lifts you got my right. point sir yes sir yes sir right and the sixth yeah criteria is towards leadership management and governance okay. cr patel sir yeah yes sir yeah sir if your director or the principal yes. or the vice chancellor is not allowing you to do anything what will happen oh. if your principal or vice chancellor head of the institution is not allow him to do anything yeah so, so whatever you plan it will, will fail teaching learning will, yeah okay right. everything right. will fail true sir if i am asking a teacher of pharmacology to teach pharmacodynamics mm-hmm. what will happen to to quality true sir true yeah we should not we ask not about the quality that. if mm-hmm. if the leadership or management is not governing your institution as per the norms exactly right if i am asking dr sia patel sir to take eight classes every day there is no question of quality delivery exactly that is true sir true and if i am not giving you any respite in your everyday academic activity you are not able to do any research exactly and this so, is happening sir this is very rampantly happening everywhere now teachers are deprived from uh, their uh, time dedicated time for research and all this is happening yes. because previously say for example 5 years back if a teacher is doing research publishing paper or book it is for his own development institute does not have any benefit out of it so the management was not ready to spare you to go for the research exactly because they had they feel it is of no benefit for them true sir yeah yes but for last 5 year with the thanks to nac and other other parameters hmm hmm that it is it become a mandate for the institutes also right sir. yes uh, somebody has raised their hand Sir, so is there any specification on how many hours a professor can take the class? So what, what was his question, sir? What is your question, sir? Sir, please repeat your question. Yeah. So, is there any specification on how many uh, classes? a professor yeah associate professor or an assistant professor should take classes 
in an university sir it is being defined by ugc the minimum yeah. number of classes But allocated and maximum number of classes allocated for anyone whether he is an associate professor assistant professor a professor yeah. and everybody but yeah minimum it has been mentioned but uh, no no maximum has been mentioned yes so is there in criterion is there in criterion in nac also no in nac okay. in nac it is basically <clears throat> boundaries are given yeah. that these are the seven criteria and in every criteria these mm -hmm. are the indicators so what nac has done nac has defined the quality parameters and want an higher education institution to report within those boundaries only so that there could be an yeah. equality among everybody so that an an same scale is applicable to everybody yeah. i will discuss on that sir that yeah. how much time a teacher need to spend in the in the classes uh, and what are the things a, every yeah. teacher has to do yeah because because if a teacher only teaches then in that condition the he cannot produce research paper also so and uh, there I, are I, I, so, I, I, several thing don't yeah. worry sir i will discuss all okay. those things what are the nice. role and responsibility of a faculty yeah. in his department okay nice nice sir. thank you go on sir good afternoon sir we are from ma'am uh, sir nursing uh, i did not hear so far you have been talking about pharmacy medical and other faculties uh, nursing also is it's applicable for nursing also can yes ma'am yes ma'am okay sir thank you this all the it. regulators whether yes. it is a nursing council pharmacy council medical council the 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 ayurvedic the the uh, yunani right. the yoga okay sir the, thank you they all comes under health education or allied health education yes Okay. so they all are covered in that ma'am right. today i will be sending you or uh, the the manuals thank you sir i i i just forgot in this today today i will send it okay sir. thank you or jharkhand government tool room or ma'am please write a line on the whatsapp group so that it gives me a reminder to send that right ma'am please help me in like that yes sir. and and one more requesting everybody please do not misuse the whatsapp group we should focused only on nac problems and nac related informations we should not misuse the group otherwise the the interest to remain in the group will be diluted so when I, when i am talking about the criteria the seventh criteria is a uh, institutional value and best practices oh uh, ma'am from nursing college i was talking with you yes sir ma'am please ma'am every nursing college right if yes. it is a bsc nursing program the course curriculum is defined by nursing council of india yes exactly and the entry level of a student is also defined by the nursing council that these are the students who can get admission in nursing and all teaching fraternity the minimum qualification is also marked and given by nursing council so the syllabus is there one and same for everybody yes. quality of student is one and same for everybody teaching fraternity is one and same for everybody the 
lab work, the hospital association, the projects, the practicals are almost same for everyone, whether it is a college in Kerala or whether it is college in Assam. Right, ma'am? Yes, sir. But again, when I'm talking about the quality of nursing, BSc nursing student, after they pass out, there is huge and huge differences from one to another college. Right, ma'am? Yes, sir. So where this difference has come? Syllabus is same. You are also teaching. I am also teaching the same thing. You are also PhD nursing. I am also PhD nursing. You are also having a student 12th pass physics, chemistry, mathematics, biology. I have also a student with physics, chemistry, biology. So why the quality differences there, man? Should I give the answer, sir? Yes, yes, ma'am. We are waiting. So, might be infrastructure. And no, ma'am. The basic the infrastructure is given by nursing council. You must have these sort of classroom, the laboratories, these uh, libraries. Everything is there given. Might be quality of education. What I feel, yes, sir. it is only two. One. The leadership of the institution. Okay. One might be ready to give a certificate and degrees. And other institution wanted their student to become a quality nurse. Yes, exactly, sir. I agree. This is leadership, right? And yes. second, yes. the implementation of the, the syllabus given to you is entirely depend on your ability and i mean the collective ability of all the teachers in that college though all the teachers are qualification wise one and same but delivery in the classroom is different yes that creates an at the end of the day, it creates a difference in the quality of the student passed out. Right, ma'am? Sure, sir. Yes, sir. I agree. And with there you. is a seventh criteria in the NAC, all seven criteria, that is institutional value and your practices. The institution there are two few type of institution. One is government institution. Another is a group of institution having n number of educational institutions in their group, under their group, or individual colleges. Right? Yes. The motto and target objective of running for those institutions are different. I'm giving you an example. Yes. Ma'am. Yes, sir. If you are principal of your college, yes. right? Yes. Sir. You are very particular about teaching, delivery, ability of the student, but the cleanness of the your campus is not so important as far as the academics is concerned. But there are institutions. When you enter an institution, you will not find any piece of paper or any leaves here and there. Everything is neat and clean. You will feel, wow, what an institution is. That all comes up, uh, basically on your institutional value. In one institution, you are not allowing the student after the start of the class. In another institution, student can enter in the class at any given time. Ma'am, in 2019, I was called by one of the premium institutions of India to deliver a lecture over there. 
so that was a four day lecture so in between lunch break and the and the uh, tea breaks and all those i used to go to the staff room and somebody has asked me on the first day what you like to have a cold drink of cha a tea or coffee then he said or a can of beer i repeated inquired then i found it is a part of the life institutional value it is available in the canteen and if a teacher need or a student wants everything is available i was asked to take classes after 9 o'clock in the evening when i entered in the class every student was on the floor the floor was properly mattresses and everything was there with all pillows and everything was there students was they all were in the in the casuals sitting on the mattresses lying and and doing whatever they wanted to do it was an unique experience for me even the canteen service was on during the lectures so we were, we are from the old school of thought that the students are sitting on the bench attentive not eating not taking wears but the, every institution has got their own value in the first instance i i felt very bad and thought i had done some wrong decisions to come down here but at the end of the day i thought they are very good so every institution has got their own value and that is the uniqueness of your institution in my previous institution where where i was working people are from the mentality wise on the uh, not on the mainstream mentality the entire institution has got a uh, side track mentality so even the faculties used to wear two pieces in the classroom what to talk about the student and the and others so anybody can wear anything even in the classroom and nobody is minding and they are very good as far as the quality of education are concerned in asia some institutions are defining that the student will come in this proper code dress code or the faculties are also are coming in the this dress code and this is the disciplinary aspects somewhere there is no discipline available so it all depends upon institutional value and their own practices right ma'am yes sir definitely sir yes but the question lies here if you create x policies there must be some reason behind it you must have planned something then you had this policy and whether this policy is giving some additional benefits as per your plan for example i'm giving you an example ma'am yes sir. A, a college situated in a remote place where a student cannot speak hindi english tamil telugu they have their own home dialects but the college insists everybody has to speak english so in the span of four year three year two years time every student become fluent in english but in the in the entry the first six month everyone is in problem 
so if you are putting and practice that the the communication is will be only in english that means at the end of your courses people will be fluent in english if they 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 can they are not becoming fluent in english even after the completion of course that means the objective of uh, english communication has failed you got my point ma'am yes sir i agree with you sir exactly now out of these seven criteria it is applicable for everyone but if it is an university the preference or the marks for each criteria is different from a constituent or affiliated college or a pg college or an eg college for example but yes sir if a nursing university have no role on syllabus then this nursing college will have 100 points in the curriculum but if it is an university where syllabus can be defined by them then instead of 100 point they are having 150 points in the same way teaching learning evaluation how you are teaching in the classroom right universities has got few departments only and the college is having a full full fledged teaching fraternity to deliver the lecture in the classroom so in the colleges it is 350 the marks is 350 and for university it is only 200 you are getting my point ma'am yes sir the, similarly on the student support in university it is 100 in the colleges it is uc it is 140 so in every criteria there is a preferential differences depending upon your quality of institution the dani ma'am right sir yes sir am i am, am i clear to you yes sir now it Hello. is the yes sir absolutely clear sir excuse me sir yes sir uh, sorry to interrupt you uh, sir we have a bachelor in pharmacy and master in pharmacy course in our college in bachelor we have 100 seat intake and in uh, pg uh, in uh, post graduation we have only 12 seat intake so when we will apply for NAC cycle, NAC accreditation cycle one, we will apply as a UG college or as an affiliated college because maximum number of students are available in UG. It, it is not the number of students. If you are offering a PG program, okay. it is a postgraduate college. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So number of students is not a matter of decision. Okay. If you are offering a postgraduate program you are a pg college okay excuse me sir i would like to ask you a, a question on this please. sir please. Uh, in bukaro city uh, i mean uh, city college we have uh, only you know two um, places where we are offering pg courses that is one is history and one is mathematics sir so uh, basically we are a ug college so uh, and offering only two i mean uh, pg courses in the college so uh, what will we consider ourselves you as pg college ma'am excuse me sir you are a post graduate college okay sir okay sir if if you wanted to remain an undergraduate college and take privilege and benefit of undergraduate college you should not have started post graduate program in history and mathematics Okay, uh, oh, sir. Okay, sir. Hello. Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I have one more question. Actually, yes, in UG we have hundred seat intake, and in PG we have only twelve seat intake. No issue. Uh, but uh, sir, there is one um, uh, question, one um, point in NAC that is uh, add-on or certification courses. Yes. 
सर वी हैव एज पर फार्मेसी काउंसिल ऑफ इंडिया अवर डेली शेड्यूल इज फोर आवर्स फॉर प्रैक्टिकल एंड थ्री आवर्स फॉर थ्योरी राइट सो अवर टोटल सेवन आवर्स इज कंप्लीटली ऑक्यूपाइड और एग्जॉस्टेड इन एकेडमिक एक्टिविटी right so for ug uh, for uh, ourselves it's not possible to offer any add on or certification courses of 30 days or 6 uh, uh, months but in pg it is possible but pg we have only 12 seats so number of students registered for certification course is maximum 12 yes but in ug we have 100 seat intake it means in 4 year we have 400 students but it is yes. not possible to uh, offer any certification course for ug students because they are well uh, they are very much exhausted about the uh, regular academic activity so how we can manage or how we can we will we will uh, having us entire session over okay. add on courses okay okay, Please okay hold on your question yes we will answer in, during that session right sir okay sir thank you sir. we are having a session on add on programs okay thank you sir So now, I just wanted to highlight two things. First, these are the seven criteria. Second, out of these seven criteria, different type of institution has got different preferences, right? Is there any question from anyone? संजय कुमार बर्न बर्नवाल सर यू हैड रेज एन हैंड संजय कुमार बर्नवाल संजय कुमार बर्नवाल आपके पास कोई प्रश्न है तो आप पूछें सर संजय कुमार बर्नवाल जी डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन संजय कुमार बर्नवाल जी नो सर आप आपने हैंड रेस किया है मेरा रिक्वेस्ट है अगर उसको आप नीचे कर ले तो बहुत अच्छा बेहतर होगा पद्मा नव त्रिपाठी पद्मा नव त्रिपाठी जी पद्मानव त्रिपाठी जी आज सर्टेन क्वेश्चन पल्लवी प्रवीण पल्लवी प्रवीण मैम यस सर आपके पास कोई प्रश्न यस सर डू यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन नो सर आई जस्ट वांटेड टू क्लेरिफाई देवयानी मैम हैड जस्ट आस्क्ड अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट द पीजी कोर्सेज रनिंग अ कॉलेज बट दे आर नॉट पीजी कोर्सेज रन एक्सक्लूसिवली बाय अ कॉलेज they are just extension centers of the post graduate departments at the university that is different it is, it is not a department run by you it is an university department running yes, in sir. your building yes sir utilizing it's your resources that. yes sir it's just a, an extension center yeah i just so, want to so the post graduation the university post graduate departments are utilizing your infrastructure yes, and exactly. your facilities for their own benefit yes sir exactly I just wanted to clarify that. No, no, it, it, it is it is valid. Otherwise, I was also thinking in this term how a college become a post graduate college, no, not doing anything from the post graduation. No, sir. It's it is just an extension center. Yeah, it it is different. It is different. Okay. okay, sir. Nothing else. Everything else is quite clear. Right, right. So I am I am sharing you another way. important topic i said that out of these seven criteria all these seven criteria is relevant and important for every type of institution but depending upon your type of higher education the weight is is different in all these seven criteria You got my point. You got my point. Yes, it's, it's very clear. 
Asok Singh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right? It is very clear. Yeah. So, yes, when I am talking about the... For example, in one of the in one of the criteria that is curriculum aspect these are the key indicators so in the curricular aspect the first criteria the first key indicator is curriculum design and development and for universities it has got 50 marks and for autonomous college again 50 marks but for the affiliated college or the regulator college, it has zero marks. Because syllabus is not designed and developed by you. Ashok Kumar, sir, you wanted to ask certain question. Ashok Kumar ji. Ashok Kumar ji. Please unmute yourself. You had asked certain question. Kya prasan hai aapke? Is it Asok Kumar or Asok Kumar Singh? Asok Singh. So you ask about the library, right? Library comes under infrastructure. In which category, sir? When we will, when we will be discussing every criteria in detail, okay. the library will also be one of the key indicator in one of the criteria okay sir okay sir okay thank you so now what i am trying to come out sir if you are running an university you are deciding your curriculum designing and development anyone from the university anyone from the university uh, i am the, i am sir from university Dr. Sir, I am belong to college, sir, no university, sir. Sir, I am from university, Dr. Shivaji Rao Zado, from State Technical University. Dr. Shivaji Rao. Dr. Yes, Shivaji Rao, sir. Yes, sir. When you are deciding a curriculum, designing and developing any curriculum for any course, right? Yes, sir. There is a accepted method and processes to do so in your university. Right, sir, right. Uh, based on a syllabus committee is there. Right, right. The OS and board that of are there for each and every program. Oh, yes, that syllabus committee, when sitting together to design a curriculum, for designing a curriculum, their outcome is fixed first. That right, we expect out of these four year of education or three year of education, students should know these things. Right, correct, sir. Program, then, uh, program educational objectives are there, uh, program outcomes are there, then course outcomes are there. So based course. on all those things, based on all those things, you are designing a curriculum. Yes, sir. And when we are designing a curriculum, writing any word in the curriculum you are answerable why you have written that word correct sir correct sir you cannot write anything over there yes sir absolutely correct sir so the entire development why you had developed this curriculum why this design has been created is very important sir yes sir yes sir in the second way, the curricular planning and implementation. Since university, for example, a government university does not have any opportunity for the curricular planning and implementation part. So that has to be done by their affiliated and constituent colleges. So University, it is zero, no marks, and the college wise, you are having 20 bands. Academic flexibility. 
so the flexibility is there somebody was asking me how the nac is associated with national education policy which is as of now going on so if the national education policy is there the academic flexibility is defined on the credit point and all those things so whether in your institution these academic flexibility is there or it is implemented students are taking advantage of these flexibility you are getting my point sir yes sir yes sir right now that nep is there uh, so when we we are deserve, we will be modifying the curriculum that time that take care will be taken sir so when the when the credit points are there in your syllabus design and you are evaluating a student based on those credit ratings and you are allowing in a student to take any other sub subject in second year third year or in the, the pass out so it all depends integral part of academic flexibility right right sir and then comes to curriculum enrichment or the feedback system so when i will discuss on the curricular aspect i will discuss all those things in detail let's comes to the teaching learning evolution these are the key pointers student enrollment and profile of the student so shivaji rao sir ha ah, sir yes sir sir in your university students are taking admission year after year yes sir yes if, sir are... if in 2017 only students from maharashtra has taken admission in your university right sir no sir, no, sir. i'm giving you an uh, example i'm just okay. giving an example okay okay, right? okay. Yes. In 2017, only student from Maharashtra has taken admission, and that too from the Maharashtra board. Right. Right. That means the diversify diversification of the student. Student should have taken admission from the CBSC background, or ICSC background, or the state boards, not from only from Maharashtra. but primarily from nearby 4 5 6 states or probably if it is good in shoot from all the states of india or if it is very good in shoot at least from various country of asia okay. or if they are an institute of national importance even student from different countries should come and take admission with you right right sir there are n number of caste and sub caste present in maharashtra right right or in india right sir if all the students are from one particular caste creed it is not good right correct correct sir not good so if your institution in 2017 18 19 20 last 4 5 years getting 100% admission from maharashtra right sir okay okay in yes which, sir yes sir in which for example only 10% girls are there okay the student admission committee should have done certain things so that the ratio of male and female students should be at least at par right sir right sir absolutely correct or student from other state could be invited aware and giving an opportunity to take admission with you right sir right sir so if your admission department has not done anything for last 4 5 years situation is one and same right right you are getting my point sir yes sir absolutely correct so the diversity of a student community is there or not yes it is also there one of one of the diversity that has to be there 
for example teachers profile and the quality if in your university out of 200 teaching fraternity 180 is male so you are having 90% male and 10% female teacher it's not good diversity care has not been taken care it has to be taken care yeah right sir and number of qualified teachers phd and all those what is the evaluation process in your institution how you are evaluating your students the evaluation should not be based only and only over the curriculum the evaluation means evaluation of development of a student whether the department of examination is having a pattern of evaluating student only on the basis of syllabus or a complete developmental evaluation is there you're getting my point sir yes sir yes sir is there any role of a student while deciding teaching learning evaluation activities is there any feedback mechanism in the satisfactory yes, mechanism or yes, whether these mechanism has been utilized by you it has to be utilized effectively sir it, that care should be taken how your provision is there the you are taking a feedback from the students yes sir. but what you did with this feedback uh, feedbacks are analyzed uh, and uh, action is taken to improve the improve on so Coming the here. action taken report has to be there and yeah. it has to be reflected in the second year's student satisfactory survey report oh in the first year if a student are not satisfied with the facilities of your library right sir yes right sir right sir in the second semester this question was answered by the set of students that they, now they are satisfied with the facility of library right right oh great otherwise great. if again they are not satisfied that means no action has been taken right right sir or action taken was not sufficient uh, correct correct so in all these seven criteria different indicators are there and in every indicator various different marks are allocated you are getting my point sir right sir right correct for example in the criteria number 3 this slide in front of you research yes. innovation and extension yes sir extension the point number 3.5 that comes consultancy yes if the institute university does mm. not have a consultancy mm. this 20 point is sacrificed yeah right sir if the university does not have extension activity these 40 point is sacrificed you will get zero out of it correct correct if the university does not have a collaboration the university will get zero point out of this 20 right so in all the key indicators different points are given and you will get those point only you have the facilities to act upon these key indicators you got my point sir yes sir i got the implementation has, implementation. implementation has to be taken care implementation of all yes. the policy yes dr mahesh am i clear dr mahesh am i clear dr shinna yes, dekhna sir yes sir am i clear should i move yes, sir. yes sir uh, no sir you can proceed so similarly in all the different criteria you are having these key indicators so now if i wish to get a very good score in nac accreditation i need to 
focus in all these seven criteria equally and in every criteria there are key indicators i had to act follow implement and record in each of the key indicators dr ma'am chinna devi ma'am yes sir ma'am just yes, think yes. just think a situation a coordinator is a subject teacher of x right yes for example he is a subject teacher of orthopedics and in that medical college in number of other departments are there and in all these seven parameters which is in front of you various key indicators are there being a teacher of orthopedics he has to take classes and do the outdoors indoor everything and along with that he has to follow all these seven criteria and all key indicators humanly it is not possible ma'am that's why i put down and request everybody for all criteria you must have two people supporting you one a criteria in charge second a checker of that criteria in charge so for example if the criteria in charge number 1 is involved in the curriculum design and development right ma'am yes sir suppose it is an university mm -hmm. every semester before the start of semester the syllabus committee to sit and see the syllabus of next semester going on whether it is okay or they need certain changes on that depending upon requirement of industry for example in a medical college in second year or in third year when i am teaching someone about the infections now the covid infection is there i need to update this syllabus about this you got my point yes sir exactly so before the start of the session every semester the syllabus committee has to sit if a syllabus committee in the department of ophthalmology has not done this work has not done this work there should be someone who asked before the start of semester about the meeting schedules of all the departments and if the ophthalmology has not given you a meeting schedule of syllabus committee before the start of the semester the criteria in charge will ask the hod of ophthalmology why it has not been done please do so the ophthalmology in charge says we are not going to change anything in the syllabus that's why no syllabus meeting but the process is you need to constitute organize the syllabus committee meeting and say there should be no need of any change and that need to be recorded and that recording need to be available with the syllabus committee with the with the in charge of this criteria in the given format and the checker of this criteria will see to it that it is in a defined format and then it will be submitted to coordinator iqsc the frequency of change of syllabus 
normally with the start of every semester if you are having a semester or if you are having a trimester then with the start of every trimester you need to have a meeting or if it is a semester you need to have before the start of semester that is mandatory let's come to second point curriculum planning and implementation right ma'am yes sir just think requesting everybody please think as per your own department for example in the department of ophthalmology this is the syllabus defined total duration is this much of work classroom hour or this much of practical hour out of these total hour six teachers are there teaching different topics say for example in this semester in this department five subjects are there in every subject you had been allocated 40 lectures theory 20 lecture practical right the teacher concern of that subject should present a plan of curriculum for this 40 theory and 20 practical most of the institutes the syllabus is given to the faculty they had been told that this is your duration to teach their no plan is collected from them how they are going to plan how they are going to teach in these 40 lectures you are getting my point ma'am yes sir just think yeah. just think you are entering in the class to teach a very difficult topic right so you need your student so energetic attentive then only this concept can be given to them you know that yes a routine committee in charge has made a routine and given it to you this class out of this 40 lecture this conceptual class was on the fifth lecture and that fifth lecture is scheduled on friday at 3 o'clock before your class there is a period of game so students has gone to play in the playground came back after the lunch they had gone to play they came back at 3 and and it is a mandate to you to teach a very conceptual thing where you need a student energetic is it possible for you to take the same quality of the class no it is not right yes so if there is if there is a disturbance before your class student are exhausted either your class in the first first period that particular day or you should not teach those topic in that day you cannot change your your routine routine is defined by someone else head of department can change the routine whether head of department have the understanding that on friday dr asok is going to teach this concept so we should give him this class in the first hour if it is not done by today you need to defer your teaching today you will teach something else and will take this class in the next some another day when you will go, will get a first class right ma'am 
Exactly. So you are adjusting yourself. Yes. So why the head of department is working in your institution? What he is doing? The, it is the duty and responsibility of head department to see to it. Let's give another example, ma'am. You are teaching one subject, right, ma'am? Yes, sir. In the same set of a student, there are four different lectures even today, mm. and you have no idea about the other teachers what they are going to teach in their classes. Yes. Only who knows? Only your HOD knows. Mm. That in semester two, this is the four class today. Out of these four class, these are the teachers, and they are going to teach these 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 things. Just think back. I am a student. In first period, I attended a lecture of Dr. Aso, and I need to write six pages or ten pages descriptions, few diagrams, and everything. Then. Dr. Anup comes in the second period, and again the class is like that. Again, I need to write six pages, ten pages. I need to write all those diagrams. The third period, Professor Suhasini comes, and she has no idea what Dr. Arun and Anup has done. So she is also dictating, and asking to write. Then you enter in the fourth period. Do you think the students are able to write? Then you are angry that your class is not responding as per your expectation. Whose fault is this? It is the fault of Dean Academics, HODs. HODs has not. Taking care of point number one, uh, one point one. Say, for example, uh, the the entire the the planning of teaching planning. He was not taking the teaching planning from the teachers. That's why he has no idea how the things are moving. There should be two routines, ma'am. Yes, sir. One routine for the students. That in Monday there is a fourth period of this topic by Doctor Aso. Fine, but for Doctor Aso there should be a routine in which it is written before him who has taught what topic and what teaching methodology was utilized over there. If the lecture method was there in first period. There should not be any other period in two days on the lecture method. Other teacher will use a different method of teaching. So for five period in a day, student will not have one teaching method in all of five classes. So while creating a routine, if I know. Doctor Asok has got these forty lectures, right? And every lecture, this is a topic he will teach, and this is the teaching methodology he will use. Then I will request Doctor Asok that on Monday, since Doctor Devani is teaching this method, you adopt a different methodology or change your teaching topic today. You got my point? Yes, sir. Exactly. For, I got for it. For everybody, everybody, am I clear to you? Yes, sir. Absolutely clear, sir. Is there any head of department? Is there any head of department? HOD, dean, faculty. Asok Singh, sir. Asok Singh, sir. Up new time. Department. I am not head of the department, sir. You are, you are, you are not head of the department. 
so so sir so uh, earlier uh, sir earlier i was the hod but now due to rotation it is a transfer to somebody else sir shivaji rao sir yes, when sir. you are hod uh-huh. do you look like on on these no. aspects while no. running your department no sir i have missed sir i am feeling guilty the problem is there in the higher education you become an hod without the training sir no one has trained you no one has neither people has trained you nor anyone has guided you what is the role responsibility of hod i just want to say once you become a registrar once you become a dean when you become an vice chancellor nobody is going to teach you what is a job and responsibilities recently i had a session with 20 different vice chancellors when i was asking what you are doing whole day what is your job and responsibilities why you become a vice chancellor what is expected out of you as a vice chancellor everyone was doing normal administrative works and a job of pro meeting with the different people resolving problems a vice chancellor is a leader of the university and it is his responsibility to make your university in the path of progress little ahead not to resolve problems so in the in the educational industry it is a problem you become a hod you become an whatever position nobody is going to give you any training and you need to learn yourself so am i am i clear should i move ahead uh, excuse me sir uh, this is yes. uh, mithali uh, from sushti degree college bangalore uh, sir i have doubt in the third one uh, third uh, yeah, third key indicator uh, point number 3.6 extension services extension yes. activities yes so what all will include over here uh, we will, don't worry ma'am i when i will discuss the criteria 3 i will elaborate all those points okay sir another also 3.3 innovative ecosystem that yes okay. yes the ma'am what is happening in this criteria i am uh, giving little more time in these criteria these are the criteria right for example innovation ecosystem right ma'am ha huh, yes sir and If, extension activities yes let, let, let's start with one example yes, innovation sir. ecosystem hmm. the innovation ecosystem is for entire institute of that higher education right ma'am uh, sorry sir right ma'am uh, sorry sir did not uh, get it properly again the innovative ecosystem of your institute this is the point ha uh, yes sir it is not a point innovative ecosystem of iqac it is innovative ecosystem of your institution right ma'am uh, sir what will uh, what are then no, no, i am coming down i am coming down you, you are from which type of institute it's a management institute bcom and bb management commerce and right right it's a management institute yes. so a teacher and a teacher of economic economic a teacher of hr a teacher of department of marketing everybody is a part and parcel of this ecosystem right ma'am right ma'am yes yes sir 
when i'm talking about this innovative ecosystem means Ma'am, what subject to teach? Sir, I lost uh, connection. Uh, the device was not. Uh, so I teach commerce and math. This one I did not hear. Requesting everybody, please mute yourself. Requesting everybody, please mute yourself, so that I can talk with one person. So there should not be any noise. Ma'am, you are speaking one subject, right, ma'am? So you are teaching one subject. Okay, please mute yourself. Uh, is coming from you only. Noise is coming from you only. So, for example, in one management college, for example, in one management college, there are six, eight different departments, and in every department, three, four, five teachers are there. So it is a responsibility of the institute to create an atmosphere of innovation everywhere. So if I am teaching marketing, if I am teaching sales promotion, where is the innovation in that? If I am teaching finance, where is innovation in that? When I am teaching, sending my students for any on-job training, where is innovation in that? So you need to focus innovation everywhere. And that can only be done with all the department, with all the teachers, if somebody is asking a report. Dr. Mahesh. Dr. Yes, Mahesh. sir. See, yes, for, sir. Example, yes, for example, in your institution, 20 teachers yes, are sir. there. Yes, sir. Working in six different departments. Right? Yes, sir. If I am asking from one teacher, out of these 40 classes you teach in this semester, with this set of students, give me five innovations you do in your teaching or your student will do during this education. If yes, I sir. ask them to give a report, write it up, the teacher concern will start thinking how he will introduce innovation in his teaching and then he will give you a report right yes sir yes sir and when the report is with you then you will analyze and you say this is two is okay and the innovation parameter these two is not innovation it is a regular fundamental things then the teacher need to give you another two innovation ideas and when you are asking questions and evaluating things, you will find out of 20 teachers, 100 innovative things are there to be implemented in next six months. 
and if you had planned 100 to implement and if somebody is regularly verifying taking reports what has happened in this 100 decisive innovative ideas you will end with 80 so 80 implementation will be there you got my point sir yes sir yes sir uh, sd sm law college you had raised a hand sd sm law college sd sm law college you have raised a hand is there any question from you yes uh, sir just wanted to know about uh, just scroll it down uh, question number 4 point uh, serial number 4 infrastructure and learning resources can you elaborate it sir can you explain me about that at the point number 4 infrastructure okay. and learning resources right yes sir, yes, sir. Let's take an example of law. Moot court is there. Right, ma'am? Yes, sir. And that moot court is applicable, relevant for a institution of legal studies. Right, ma'am? Yes, sir. But this moot court is not at all DJ for any B pharma colleges. Mm, yes, sir. You got my point? Yes, sir. You got my point? And yes, again, sir. Yes, sir. And again, in the legal education, you must have a very good library support. A very good library support. And you need to verify that every student could utilize your library either physically or electronically. Right? Yes, sir. Sorry. I'm running a college with history. Library is important with me also, but it's not so important. Footfall in library in the legal institute should be around 100%. Mm. Right, ma'am? Yes, sir. In department of history, if it is 40, 20, 30%, it's fine. It's okay. The infrastructure and learning resources, the physical facility, for example, let's say physical facility. I'm working, I'm a student, for example, in a law institute. Right, ma'am? Yes, sir. I must get opportunity in the moot courts. If I do not get an opportunity in moot courts, I cannot become a lawyer. If with a hundred students, the Bar Council of India says you these are the facility you must have. If it is good institute, you will have at least minimum those facility, or you will have little more than that. For example, IT infrastructure. If I am studying in legal courses, I need to visit all High Court, Supreme Court and other commercial courts to verify various activities. Right, ma'am? Yes, sir. So the internet and the facility to utilize the net, the, the desktops, the laptops, the connectivities, that has to be an excellent form. The routers, the, the entire data storage, that has to be there. And that has to be in excellent forms. Just think, ma'am, I'm in the boot code, right? Arguing X. Okay, ma'am? Okay. I want to refer a judgment of Delhi High Court. Mm -hmm. That I know. But that need to be shown to the judge at that time. Right? Yes. I need to open it up in my laptop so that it can be shown to during the discussions. Right? Yes, sir. And it takes 
फाइव मिनट्स टू ओपनिंग अ पेज वट विल हैपन मैम I will. I am a student of literature. Yes, sir. I am also assessing something. If it takes two minutes to open it up, I will wait. Mm -hmm. I will have a pop popcorn. Nothing will go down. But if I am in a professional program, for example, in pharmaceutical, in nursing, in medical college, or in the legal study, I cannot wait. you have to have an excellent system you are you are in the semester 2 you are teaching criminology right ma'am yes sir so when you are teaching criminology you are teaching criminal psychology right yes sir in this week so the entire sixth student are learning criminal psychology so they need to have books of clinical psychology either physically or electronically mm. you cannot say we have only three books don't worry you will read it when your terms comes after three months can you say that no sir but in literature we can say in general education student can be that there there is not so connectivity from one topic to another and there should not be there will not be so huge things to read on so the infrastructure and learning resources based on your institution are here and there we will discuss all those things in detail when we will i will going with the criteria should i move ahead yes sir thank you for the information sir thank you so much is there any question from anyone uh yes sir <coughs> this is dr shriram from mumbai sir hello yes sir yes sir uh, sir i have a question regarding the uh, this point 1.1 uh, curricular planning and implementation uh, ours is affiliated college and so uh, everything is designed and developed the curriculum uh, by the university and we follow that so under this mm -hmm. 1.1 where affiliated college has 20 marks uh, what exactly we are supposed to write i mean will everything be in descriptive form or we need to give some uh, record in uh, like uh, the copies of some record also 1.1 sir curricular curricular planning and implementation i'm coming down i'm coming down, down. Coming down that. okay sir i'm sharing one of the slide to you and hope it is visible to you okay sir so since you are having an affiliated institution requesting everybody please mute yourself so that we may not have any noise since it is an affiliated institution you are following the curriculum defined by the university so now the implementation is your problem so these are the four key indicators curriculum design and development curriculum planning and implementation academic flexibility curriculum enrichment and feedback system right sir yes sir yes apart from issues of diverse diversity and academic flexibility 
except on career orientation, multi-skilling development, feedback system, and involvement of stockholders in curriculum updating are gazed. So the first thing is the academic flexibility. When I'm talking about academic flexibility, Let's Can't hear understand you, sir. Ma'am, let's start with the curriculum designing and development, right? Okay. Okay. okay sir. The okay, sir. curriculum is designed, designed by the university on the basis of program outcome, or on the basis of these program outcome, the specific outcomes are there. or the course outcomes are there when these outcomes are defined then the entire curriculum is evolved i was talking with people from mumbai someone from mumbai yes sir yes sir since you are affiliated college or uh, your good name sir Uh, Shri Ram, Doctor Shri Ram, sir. Doctor Shri Ram, Doctor Shri Ram, sir. Since you are affiliated institution, the university defines a curriculum for you, right, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When the university gives you a curriculum, the entire curriculum has got a course outcome. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. That's true. And the entire course outcome is there, with the entire credit points are there. So this course, this course contains this much of credit, right, sir? Right, sir? Yes, sir. And the entire, for example, a bachelor program of six semester. Every semester, there is a a specific outcome. Yes, sir. And these semester outcomes are combined together to come as a course outcome. True. And in every semester, you are teaching five papers. So every paper has got a program outcome. Yes, sir. And these five papers of that semester. all together combines up and gives the semester outcome right sir yes sir and the outcome is planned and decided by the university that this course should have this outcome right yes sir and since you are an affiliated institution you need to follow it up and implement it in the same attitude and motto so that these outcomes are achieved you got my point sir point sir yes, sir you got my point yes sir yes yes i understood sir yes or no yes or no yes sir yes so 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 for example, for example the outcome the out is expected A and at the end of the program, we found, with the help of examination evaluation processes as well as with the help of student survey satisfaction, that outcome is six minus A minus six. What should I do, sir? If the outcome was outcome expected hundred, expected hundred, yes, sir, and and achieved twenty, what to do? Maybe there was a problem in implementation. Then it needs to rectify. Yes, sir. So the entire. Criteria says that 
every time this need to be evaluated that whether we are following these outcomes properly or not i will discuss little more on that i should let me come with another another thing give me a time a minute i am opening something else is it visible to you sir yes sir it's visible see for example a bcom program right this is a program outcome you are able to see yes sir you can see that so in the first semester there are five six papers and every paper is denoted by po1 po2 po3 po4 and there will be certain expectation after the entire syllabus has been covered you got my point sir yes so every program for example in semester 1 in bcom program i am teaching financial accounting right okay sir yes sir and in the financial accounting these are the five papers co1 co2 co3 co4 co5 right and out of out these of papers these are the pos addressed are you doing these things in your institute yes or no yes sir dr says are you doing these are things doing in these things Uh, actually uh, this is uh, i mean we follow the uh, whatever is given by the university like uh, no no this is this is this is this the is the method on which you are you are need to implement your these courses okay sir let me open something else since things are in the public domain so no harm in opening any institution is it visible to you yes sir it's visible it is a manual made by bhopal school of social sciences right these are the undergraduate programs with them okay these are the post graduate programs and diploma courses with them c program outcome po of undergraduate courses offered 
so for all the undergraduate programs these are the program outcome they expect from their faculties to deliver to the students you are getting my point yes sir so this applies to all the courses that they have undergraduate courses the, this is a standard format for the graduation program right right okay the bani ma'am i am clear yes sir absolutely clear sir and for the bca program there are different set of program outcome so the course wise this program outcome is there right so one is a graduation a bca is also a graduate right you got my point yes sir got it sir bca is also a graduate so for all the graduates the page in front of you the po 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 9 is expected but for the bca pso 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 is there so a student of B bsc sorry bca student of bca need to have two things one a program a specific outcome and the course outcome the program outcome am i clear yes sir dr sirish yes sir yes sir so when i am mapping with these things this is an entire set of eight parameter nine parameter po1 to po9 and pso1 to pso7 this may be applied to bca student or may not apply this pso is specially for bsc bca student so pso is there all seven guidelines of pso program specific outcome should be there for bca students but the po for the graduates nine pointer may or may not be applicable in totality with bca student so when the pso3 is calculated then po7 po8 and po9 this also be calculated simultaneously you are getting my point sir i have one question yeah please sir i would like to just clear that suppose ours is a technical university So okay. for all the all the engineering pro all the engineering UG programs, sir. Uh, since the, the, since let, let me let me come down on you. Since hello. it is an institution where program outcome is there that you are teaching undergraduate in engineering or medical or pharmacy, right? so all the undergraduate students of your institution will have these program outcome with them right sir so does it mean that for all the ug programs pharmacy yes, and all, all the, the ug program in your institution will have this program outcome common program outcome has to be there for all the ug program am i clear yes sir, yes, sir. thank you sir thank you absolutely clear Okay, but for the engineering student there should be program specific outcome for, for the particular program. program specific outcome for engineering is different and program specific outcome for pharmacy is different you got my point uh, sir again i would like to uh, further clarify 
सपोज प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बीटेक आई टी बीटेक कंप्यूटर बीटेक सिविल बीटेक मेकेनिकल प्रोग्राम आउटकम शुड बी सेम फॉर ऑल द इंजीनियरिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ यूजी गिव मी अमेरिक गिव मी अमेरिक आई विल कम डाउन फर्स्ट थिंग इज सिंस दीज इंजीनियर्स और दीज फार्मा और दीज डॉक्टर्स आर ट्रीटेड एज ग्रेजुएट राइट सो द ग्रेजुएशन प्रोग्राम आउटकम इज देयर वन फॉर ऑल ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट ऑफ ऑल द स्ट्रीट्स देन यू कम विथ ए स्पेसिफिक प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग देन इट्स कम विथ द प्रोग्राम स्पेसिफिक आउटकम फॉर इंजीनियर्स राइट सर देर इज डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ इंजीनियर लेट इट बी इंजीनियर राइट सो यू क्रिएटेड सेवन different parameters of specific outcome got my point sir right sir right sir then in in the course bsc first year or engineering mechanical first year or engineering electrical first year there are syllabus right sir yes sir yes sir right so when bca first year syllabus is there then these are the papers fundamental of computer english language and composition office automation program solving these are the five different six different papers right 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 okay okay sir right sir right clear clear so in the first semester when the students are learning fundamental of computers there are course outcome five different course outcomes are there so the teacher of fundamental of computer the teacher is teaching fundamental of computer 1 2 3 4 whatever the numbers are there they are responsible to give these desired program outcome right sir clear sir clear so similarly when i am talking engineering engineering in electronics engineering mechanical engineering civil has different courses and there is different outcomes right sir right clear clear sir. now you had three points course outcome program specific outcome and program outcome three programs are there three things are there sir yes sir yes sir the first thing is for a graduate the student who is in the first semester is not completed his graduation correct correct to see the outcome of the graduates will come in after the 3 year when 3 year is completed then that will be evaluated whether we had achieved those outcome of program or not i think i think after the final year no i think after the final year after the final year in the 6th semester you can calculate everything right right but in the in first the, semester if the program is of 6 6 semester in the program is of 8 yes. year then after 8 year semester 8 semester right correct correct so in the first semester you have two things course outcome and program specific outcome right correct correct so in the first year when first subject fundamental of computer is being taught by the faculty in the classroom there are five course outcomes 1 2 3 4 5 right so i'm again taking you the five outcome the course outcome number 2 go to it yeah course outcome number 3 develop programming concept right sir right sir right 
so when i am mapping the course 3 co3 while students are learning the programming concept at same time the teacher need to make an student aware on pso1 pso2 and pso3 so the teacher's responsibility while teaching fundamental of computer to make a student aware on different programming along with pso1 2 and 3 what are the pso1 2 3 pso1 ability to understand the concept with a logical and critical thinking in the key area of computer application po2 understanding of analysis and apply latest technology to solve problem within their work domain pso3 necessary technical scientific managerial financial knowledge concept and application oriented to be employable or pursue higher education so these three outcomes program specific outcome has to be there when the teacher is teaching fundamental of computer it, with the co3 you got my point sir yes sir yes sir so when the point number 3 is being taught by the teacher it is a program course outcome and program specific outcome that is in the back of the mind and the student will get evaluated for that correct correct is there anyone from department of examination and sir accordingly question paper has to be set that's why i asked anybody examination controller or anyone who is who has worked in the department of examination or become an question setter yes sir i am question paper setter sir when you are setting a question you need to analyze all those things sir yes sir yes we have to take but, care but that no one has briefed you to... but no one has briefed you that you need to analyze all these right so right, your sir. question is not analyzing all these correct. so the evaluation is not complete correct you got my point sir yes sir yes sir this is not uh, not happening sir in reality so it has to be in reality the controller mm -hmm. need to ask the question setters in point number 3 that which question is to assess co3 which to assess pso1 which to assess pso2 and which question has to be assess po3 and when the controller is requesting you to make a question paper set a question he has to give you instruction that out of 100 numbers how many numbers you will evaluate for pso1 oh great otherwise a setter is in dilemma what he is supposed to do and it is because the controller has no idea about these matrices correct correct so controller is not suggesting you to do so you got my point sir yes sir yes sir general guidelines have to be there clear guidelines for the paper setters sir the the controller has no idea and because departmental head has no idea the since the departmental head has no idea then he is not making the controller aware about it correct correct so aware controller is not requesting this setup so all the evolution is farce you got my point sir yes sir yes sir say for example co1 there is only one pso1 is planned to assess in co5 there are five different psos are to be assessed you got my point 
yes sir yes sir so the complexity of the topic to evaluate co or pso is different with everyone you are getting points am i clear with everybody the banana yes Dr. sir Man, absolutely yes, sir. clear yes sir i do these things i hope you all are doing these things no. sir actually we do have you know program outcomes and program specific outcomes but uh, as such we don't go in for a mapping of the system sir as you have so shown here sir by making columns and rows sir so this we have to follow up sir when you are planning anything you must evaluate how much you had achieved and in the nac columns you had to fill out the things i will show you what is needed on that it will take okay. another half an hour i will show you tomorrow how these calculation has to be done okay sir okay what i am doing i am sharing this file to you right i am yes, sharing sir. this file in the whatsapp group to everybody yes sir please share okay sir thank you sir you thank you so much go for it and tomorrow we will start discussion on this only it's a very important sir and that attainment is also very important sir attainment yes sir is there is there any question from anyone if there is a question please ask if there is any question please ask is there any bit of a number of years of yes sir any number of years i am not able to hear you sir please please write things on the chat box i am not able to hear you your voice is not audible any question from anyone sir one thing here yes Hello? please yeah please sir kindly kindly share the video calculation all calculation videos to us because it will be comfortable for us so i'll doing the that is very important you want to the discussion is very good discussion kindly share uh, the all calculation videos to us in our whatsapp group sir calculation videos ha sir every these these calculation weightage videos So these are the, these, these, are, videos, these videos are being recorded for you only but it it normally it takes time to edit and rectify things and then it will be shared to you thank you thank you sir thank you it will be very it, useful it, 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 for yes yes it, it is for you sir thank you okay sir thank you so i shared both the files to you sir sir is there any question from anyone one one clearance uh, regarding the pso and po yes sir uh, suppose uh, engineering ug programs are there say eight pu eight ug programs are there under different branches of engineering right sir then uh, program uh, outcomes uh, should be same for all the programs of engineering uh, say eight ten whatever are there in all the disciplines yes, yes sir and the program specific output should be separate as per the respective program am i clear sir yes sir yes sir and if in the university if pharmacy program is there ug pharmacy then for ug pharmacy uh, program outcome should be separate than the yes, uh, program outcome of engineering discipline am i clear sir yes sir and if the architecture programs is there then ug architecture program should have separate uh, program outcomes different from pharmacy program and engineering programs am i clear sir the difference is in the program specific outcomes are no, no, different no, for everyone no sir program program outcome program uh, outcome, outcome is a program of bachelor that is why i am i am like to clear sir sir it will be same for all bachelor disciplines my god 
all the bachelor degree whether it is a whether it is a pharmacy whether it is a architecture yes, whether sir. it is a, whether it is a engineering yes, of sir. different different branches yes sir it will be same for everyone program sir, outcome acha you just give me a give me a minute time sir it, one one question more sir it is not wait wait for, wait for, wait for a minute sir wait for a minute shivaji rao sir i am listening i am an engineering graduate i am a pharmacy graduate i am a history graduate i am a medical science graduate i am eligible to appear in upsc examination and the upsc assess me as a graduate right so a basic quality as a graduate i must have maybe i am a graduate of medicine or graduate of history but a basic quality of a graduate has to be there so in your university all the graduates irrespective of their subject and departments have got same quality then the program specific outcomes are different and the course outcomes are different so what if i am learning medicine it took me 4 years or 5 year time to become a graduate and if i am learning history it i can gra become graduate in 3 years so whatever quality i acquire to become a graduate for a history i am having only 3 years time for a medical student he will have 5 years time to pursue those qualities that's why being a history graduate i feel ahead of engineers and medicals i attend the graduation understanding in 3 years you attended your graduation understanding in 4 year engineering you got my point sir right sir right is there any question from anyone sir if you can elaborate uh, criteria 7.3 that is about best practices it will be discussed tomorrow don't worry that all the criteria i will discuss in length day after day all seven criteria okay we will have a separate session on all these criteria okay is there any question from anyone so thank you everybody for your participation and giving your valuable time and energy Let's yes, meet sir. tomorrow at 2 p.m. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you